Okay, so Matt Teresa's, we're in the basement and we're looking at a furnace AC replacement. It's a draft vent furnace. Um, it's uh, 48 inches tall. You can see the coil. Um, just tucking underneath, there's kind of like a plenum that the supply trunks are going um, each way. So we want to, um, when we rebuild, we want to basically be rebuilding from here down. From here down. So I've got that measure. Um, we've got some room for a media filter. So we've got the height of that return so we can uh, make up a new return at the, at the shop, bring it out. You can see there's a shut off for the gas. The electrics are in a metal conduit. The line set is size right. It's running up and over. Um, there's a uh, finished bathroom on the other side and that's how it gets out. So we'll be uh, pressure testing, flushing, and then uh, re recharging with the new refrigerant. You can see the drain. Um, there's actually another access um, to, to this closet and that's where you can hook into the um, flue. Actually, I'll pop around and show that in a moment. Um, so there's a drain in the other room. Um, to get the equipment in and out, it's not a walkout. Um, we've just got some stairs um, to go up. And then that'll lead us, excuse me, that'll lead us um, to the back. You can see the back door and then driveways on the right side so that's how we can come and go and then there's an electric panel it's a newer one it's right on the back wall we need to shut off power um, and you can see the ac's on there and that's labeled so that's good and then okay so you can see the flue it's a five inch uh, flue that's coming out of the bottom and then there's a t that is feeding um, the furnace so yeah we need a cap five inch with a cap and then the uh, four inch T to feed our furnace uh, let's see yeah so just actually tracking that drain actually that drain looks like it's on the other side down here I'm just gonna that's it.